Hello and welcome to another Japanese V Cross unboxing. Today with the set 14. And yeah, this set released last year and was pretty popular and pretty fast sold out, at least in the shops that I was looking. So yeah, I don't know if it's because there are playable cards or if it's just like the the swimsuit set bonus. Because there are like some more loot artwork in this set. Let's remove my face. So there are some very pricey UR cards, but URs, as far as I know, are not even like guaranteed per per case. So these are super rare. But yeah, the, the highest cards, as you can see, are like more swimsuit themed. And yeah, but still there are a lot of pricey cards. And yeah. I really wanted to open a box from this set, so I I paid a little a little over the regular price, to be honest. But yeah, I recently decided that I I want to go more into the the English V Cross sets because I want to actually play with the cards. So I I don't plan to open a lot of Japanese V Cross anymore. Like there's a the 10th anniversary set that should like release uh, in April, so not that far in the future. And uh, yeah, I I will open this set, but after that I will completely focus on the English releases. Even if I I would still like to open both, of course, I just cannot finance it. It's just impossible for me. So we've got like box topper pack, but I guess it's just it's just sleeves. And I'm just too stupid to open them. So I, I would put them to the side before I make something really stupid. Really not good at opening these small packs. And yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I, I just Took a quick look into the card gallery. I haven't seen all artworks. And I I don't remember like all character names, of course. I'm trying my best to to catch up and to to learn the different characters, but I'm not quite there. Now this should be I thought it's Mel, but it's not Mel. And we have like the names in Katakana there. And I can read a few signs, but not all. Oh. What? So first pack already like the pull of the box? Man, I hope this is not uh, not the only very cool high hit, but it's the LR. And as far as I know, uh, there is like one one guarantee LR and one one piece card. In older sets, there were like two piece cards, I think. There are also two in, in English. Eh? But yeah, I I don't know where these characters are from. Looks like another collaboration work. So another like VGBO scene. I want to check very quick on my second screen. Ding on Boo. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we, we have some. Okay, we have got an Elric Assist Mama, level one. But yeah, I I learned a little bit about the the gameplay. Hopefully, in my my next live stream. It depends. I don't know actually when I will upload this unboxing, but I I want to do like some live streams with English Recross in which I will. Uh, I want to like learn more about the cards and want to see the synergies and maybe go into deck building even if people would like to to see it in a live stream and talk a little bit about the hobby because here in germany it's just a very tiny group of people who is into vcross and yeah, not like any tournaments or any locals or anything sadly I would love to to play Vcross in person, but yeah, sadly I was I was born here. 
and cannot leave. <laughs> like a prison. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Elric in parallel foiling. And it's Yutsuki. Am I reading it right? Maybe I get some uh, get some or I confuse some Karaganas, but I would say this reads Yutsuki. I I really like I have said it multiple times, but I really like the the parallel foiling of Vicross. I like it even more than the, the SR foiling, the Shatter foiling. Yeah, another Mama. Mama assist level two. Okay. Uh, Aki. Oh, what was her name? Akino? I think it was Akino. Uh, yeah, very, very popular Elric because of uh, uh, reasons. Because of personality, I guess. Now this is uh yeah this is a servant right yeah it's a guard and me oh god Milulu what was her name okay yeah SR with uh yeah with the shatter foiling and the swimsuit this is a very nice very nice perspective and artwork. <laughs> There are some some really nice artworks in this set. I I wonder if we we get the release or when we will get the release in English, and if there is like any censoring. I think in the past at some point there were like some minor censoring in V Cross English releases, but I don't know if they are like so sensitive still or like with this release would be pretty sad it's not like this is like super explicit oh another mama assist elric okay so maybe so I, I don't know if there is like a chance, probably there is a chance to pull like a LR rarity and still get like very rarely another high hit. Maybe. At least there should be a, a P card. And another Elric, level two, and foil. These are like the, one of the best foils to get. I think, especially when the the Elrics are playable. Of course, there are like higher higher rarities or higher foil cards, but just for casual playing or yeah, for not so expensive decks, I think it's super cool to have these in parallel foiling. And yeah, this is uh, uh this is Uoth. What was Uos Uosu? I think it's in English. It's Uoth. Like a very nice looking full art or extended art version. Yeah, it's so you you cannot really play with the Japanese cards, of course, especially if you cannot read Japanese. But uh, on on tournaments and stuff, they are not like uh, allowed to to use. I've heard in in Japan it's the opposite, or it's 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 allowed to use English cards, which is a little bit weird. But maybe it's because uh, because they still have like a reason to to buy the English new releases. So if you would would be allowed to use Japanese cards, it would probably be for a lot of people it would be cheaper to get the. The Japanese single cards and play with them. 
and not buying the new the new English boxes. That's like my guess. That's that's the simply monetary reason behind all of this. But yeah, I've I've got an, a second box from this set. I want to open in a live stream later this year. So maybe if you want to see some more unboxings, please uh, check out check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. Ooh! So it is possible. It is possible to pull the LR in the first pack and feel like, damn, this is the box. You can still pull an S. SRP. Oh, that's a very interesting character design, like the the white grayish hair and the very like colorful clothing. Cool. So, but maybe the the SRP has replaced the the piece, or there's like a last pack magic piece. Maybe. No, just an SR. So yeah, no piece card. Or maybe, have I looked really into the card list? Maybe there are no pieces in this. There are pieces, okay. So yeah, we end up with another SR. And yeah, I, I really like the, the cards and designs in this set. I hope I can pick up some boxes. Like I have to save some money. So I have to buy less. Uh, less Cardfight Vanguard and less from other TCGs and want to focus a lot more on V-Cross or English V-Cross so I can buy like multiple boxes of the uh, of the English release and yeah we end up with the Force of Will pack in which I'm still looking for uh, the Anubis Secret Rare but yeah thank you for watching and see you in my next unboxing bye